Hey church, we just wanted to give ourselves another update, daily update, weekly update, whatever the interval is. Um, but I wanted to say, uh, first of all, thank you to everyone for um, your faithfulness, for um, the way that you have continued to participate and the way that you've invited others to, to participate in our online worship. And I don't, I don't really even want to call it online worship. I don't know what else to call it. Um, but I, because I really feel like we're gathering together in the best way we can. But I'm standing here in the sanctuary because so many of y'all have wanted to come through and, again, just see the symbols of the church um, and be uh, present in the sanctuary. And you can do that. I, I want you to know that during the week, if some of y'all want to come by and just see it, two church members have just left, actually, from being in here. But um, Joey and I were talking, and um, I'm going to bring Joey into this. And many of you have had questions about the chrysomon tree and would like to know more about the symbols and also um, learn more about their their origin who did them and things like that so I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the rest of this update and just let Joey talk about these symbols and all that they mean and Joey why don't you take it from here hello all so obviously our chrysomon tree is new this year thanks to the efforts and the beautiful artistry of Joanna Morgan and she created some terrific chrismons that are all just so so special and sewn so beautifully that will last us for years to come some have asked why did, why did we do new chrismons uh, this year these were our, our older chrismons and they have served us so beautifully well and were created by our uh, our church in, in many years past, but they were beginning to fall on some disrepair and were going to need some attention. Back at the beginning of the year, we had actually talked about making it a project for the children to help us to repair these chrismons. But the more we began to investigate, we realized uh, that they, they were probably worse for wear than we actually had thought they may have been. Joanna wanted to offer her services, and so she labored to create these beautiful chrismons, our Christ monograms for our chrismon tree. And she wanted to do so as a way of service for the church, but as a way to give back and a way for her to heal. She actually was so down about the separation from the church since we were not meeting in person due to the COVID outbreak. She wanted to do something that brought her a bit of connection to the church. And this was it. And she said it was a balm that healed her soul. So all these chrismons that you see, she created in sadness for being separated, but the joy that was brought to her restored her for the connection to the church and hopefully will bring us the balm and the healing and the joy for years to come as we are able to share this for generations to follow us in, in church at Crossgates United Methodist Church. She wanted to be sure that, uh, that it was known that these were given uh, and created by her in the memory of her family. In particular, her father, Virgil Lee Bingham, Jr., her mother, Ernestine Johnson Bingham, and her brother, Virgil Lee Bingham III. I think, Trey, that these will be just a stunning reminder mm -hmm. of the connectedness that we have in church mm -hmm. with each other, but also a stunning beginning to every Advent season that we have for many years to follow. Christ is with us. These symbols help us to visualize the presence that is always here. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Mm -hmm. He is the first and the last. He is the Lamb. He is the Shepherd. And the angels proclaimed with great joy the coming, the birth, 
the presence of God with us, Emmanuel. God bless. Enjoy these images. Enjoy the presence that you find in them. But more than that, enjoy the presence of Christ in your heart this Advent season. Hallelujah. Thank you, Joey. I, I'm going to just pan around a little bit and show some of these symbols to y'all. And again, you really can't capture this on, on the video, but um, y'all come here and during the day and um, y'all come and take a look at some of these these symbols. The, the monogramming, um, the stitching is just absolutely beautiful. And Joey, a hearkening back to who hung these. The children did. The children did. The children were the ones who prepared this space for the church. And I think what, what Joey talked about, the word um, chrismon, meaning symbols of Christ, how much more symbolic can you get when the little ones who climbed on Jesus' lap came and he welcomed them are the ones who led us in creating these symbols. And this is right here why we do what we do. For unto you is born this day a Savior, Christ the Lord. This is the reason of the season that you hear so often. Crossgates, we see Christ in each other, and we see Christ in these symbols. And as we continue to grow in Christ, is what leads me to say, I see Christ in you.